guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video is super exciting because i'm gonna be testing out a new brand which is called bubble and they were kind enough to send me over a pr package to unbox and try on my channel um i was kind of surprised at how much came inside of this box so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into it so opening up the box, firstly, the packaging is really cute. I love the little swirlies on it um, and the colors, really bright colors, super cute. So the first thing we see once we open up the box is a thank you message and you can pause and read if you would like to. And over on the back, it tells you how to take care of the products. We also get some more instructions on how to apply and how to take care of everything and then also on the back of this one we have some removal instructions i love how it comes with very detailed instructions and also some pictures which i did make sure to read over before i started to use the products um and now get it into this package like i didn't even want to mess it up i just love like seeing everything in here it was super cute like it was just packaged so nice but let's go ahead and start small and then work our way up to the bigger items so this first thing here is a swatch wheel and i really love this whenever i swatch i usually go for the swatch sticks but i really love the concept of that wheel um i feel like i'm more likely to keep the swatches when i have those wheels because i normally throw my swatches away if it's just like one or two items um, I don't really feel the need to keep it, so yeah, I love that swatched wheel. The next item I'm showing here is a hand file, and I've never seen a file like this before. I thought it was very cute, but I feel like it won't be very effective, or it could be because this is for like the gel extensions that come inside of the kit. But if you were to apply acrylic or poly gel, something like that, I feel like that would not be the type of file to use. But I thought it was very cute. This next item here, as you can see, we get three different types of brushes. And let me just say, I love this packaging. Like, I feel like every time I see something with cute patch packaging, it just makes me want to keep it in the package and just keep it forever. But we get three different types of brushes. The first one I showed was 05, which is just like a slanted brush. Then we have 04, which is more of like an oval brush. These are the type of brushes I would usually use to clean up my smile line whenever I'm doing gel fringes. And I heard something else rattling inside the box and I didn't know that it comes with a top. So for the first one, I didn't show it, but here they are. They do come with tops and I really love the look of them. Um, this last one here is 01 and this is just a liner brush which is always nice to have because you can do simple nail art you can do advanced nail art and the brush looks like a pretty nice size with whatever you decide to do and i really love the handles as well and overall the quality feels very nice and i cannot wait to try these brushes so moving right along to this next item here we have a mini curing flashing light and this is to apply the soft gel tips that we also have in this package um, it comes with the USB cord. You will have to provide your own wall piece or you can put it into a computer. And I also loved how long the cord was. It was long enough to where I didn't have to adjust most of the items on my desk because usually I would have to move a lot of the things in order for it to reach where I'm doing my nails at. But this is how the overall light looks. It's very small. Um, it has three little lights at the top. And then also in the middle, it does come with an on and off button, which I really like because I do like to turn these off whenever I'm not really using them. I mean, over on the back, this is where we plug in the cord. Overall, I really do love this design. I think it's really cute. So moving right along to these next items. So we get six of these four in one cream gel polishes and I end up loving these. These were my favorite items out of the box. The packaging was just super cute and let's just go ahead and open it. So opening up the first one, here's what it looks like and just look how cute this is. I love how the bubble is like holographic. Um, it comes stacked on top of each other, which is very compact. For storage reasons, I really do love how they're stacked on top of each other. I feel like it would be very easy to um, collect them and just store them so they're not like all scattered all over the place. But for application reasons, I don't really like them being stacked on top of the other just because I feel like sometimes it may be kind of hard to get to. Or if you didn't really swatch them, you won't really know what color you're going to get. But opening it up, it does come with a little mirror at the top, which I think was so cute. Um, and it also displays bubble. 
but yeah they're stacked on top of each other with each color underneath which i think is really cute i love the design and also i feel like these were a little bit hard to open but as i started to open them they got easier um and it also has the name underneath so the first one i showed was 04 hugs and kisses now moving right along to the second one the second one here is 05 daydream and I'm just quickly going to be showing all of these colors because I do plan to swatch them as well. But I did just want to give you a little bit more information on these 4-in-1 cream gel polishes. So firstly, like I said, these are cream gels and they are a liquid convert, which means they're just gel polishes that maintains its solid form, which converts into a buttery like consistency. And also these are long lasting. The polishes last up for 28 days on your nails and you can use them on top of your application. You can use them with poly gels, acrylic, gel X method, or you even can apply them to your natural nails. You can also encapsulate them with doing an ombre, just any type of thing that you want to do on your nails. They're very diverse and I feel like you will get a lot of wear out of these. But one thing I did want to mention, since they are solid gel polishes, I feel like doing designs like line work would be a little bit harder to do than regular gel polishes because regular gel polishes or like painting gels, they flow a little bit more easier. And since these are a little bit thicker and it don't really flow on a liner brush how normal gel polish would. Um, but I'm going to be doing some nail art so if you want to see me use one of these doing nail art, make sure that you stick to the end of the video. And they are easy to apply and they also claim to be streak free and anti air bubble. So your application is going to go on very smooth and very easy. And also these are nine free, cruelty free and 100% vegan. And if you are curious about the size, these are all 8 grams. Each color you get, you have 8 grams in there, um, which seems like a very small amount. But I feel like um, you will get a lot of wear of these just because you get 4 in 1 and you can use these colors with different designs. So as I get to finishing up showing every color that came in this box, um, I just wanted to say like all of these colors are just so so gorgeous. I think one of my favorite ones was Disco Fever. They had a bunch of glitters and they're very holographic. And also I did take a liking to the pink one because as you guys know I love my pink nails. Um, but so I just showed this one here and as I got to the last one I thought it was kind of like a combination where you get 8 in one. Um, but this actually ended up being the same exact one and I'm just showing you like the colors just to make sure I wasn't tripping or anything but these are the exact same one which is a number 12 um, I believe it's at purpose so for one of these um, I'm gonna keep in today's video but for the other one I think I'm gonna put it back in the box and I may include it into a giveaway leave a comment below and let me know if I should include it into my 50,000 subscriber giveaway um, but underneath, so I thought I was done with the brushes, but underneath that pretty pink crinkle paper, I just had to look and see and make sure I wasn't leaving out anything else. But we do get two more brushes, which I'm just going to quickly show. We have our number three, which is a square brush. And I just love collecting brushes. Like I said in my last video, I love the satisfaction of just collecting new brushes. They're just so satisfying to look at and just unbox. Um, and then also we get a number two, which is kind of like a nail art brush, but it does seem a little bit thicker. And I feel like they send me a brush just to do about anything on your nails, whether it's cleanup, doing a French tip, ombre. Even though they didn't specifically send me an ombre brush or like the typical ones, I still feel like using even like the applicator looking brush you can still do ombre with it so that's really exciting that they sent me a brush just to do about anything i want on my nails so before we finish unboxing everything else in here i did just want to go ahead and swatch all of these four in one cream gel polishes and also before i got this package they did inform me that to get the best application using these is that you will need to coat your brush and base coat so i did just take a base coat that i had near me and i put some on my nail palette and so off to the side before i pick up each color or swatch each color i will be coating my brush with the base coat just to ensure that i have a really nice and smooth application to show you guys all of the swatches so just like any other solid gel cream polish, the consistency was very nice, very smooth, and I just love the texture of these. And so I'm just going to quickly show them just because this unboxing took a little bit more time than I expected. So I'm just going to speed this part up. 
and as i swatch them i'm gonna leave the particular um name of that set down in the love corner just in case you see a color that you like and so you'll know exactly which one it came from so yeah, i'm just gonna let this part here play out and let you guys enjoy the swatches So as you can see, as I swatched them, I did skip a swatch and considering the fact that I wasn't going to be swatching the other one just because I had a repeat color, um, it kind of clicked in my mind that I would have enough room now to kind of keep them separate, but I didn't have enough room to swatch my last um, set, which is going to be that 12 purpose one, which is a lot of purples, but here's how the swatches look on each one of them. I did cure for 30 seconds after each set. And I love how these apply, they are super smooth. So since I didn't have a chance to swatch the last one, I'm just gonna show you very quickly again what the colors look like. Just in case you wanna purchase this one, you can see a second glance at what the colors look like. And 
and for the swatches i do love this swatch wheel but i did have an idea in mind so i have like this label maker and i decided to um print out some labels just so i can remember which one is which so these little stickers are meant to be like just one swatch but i did put the size of them really small so that i can print out two at a time and when i printed them out i cut them in half and just put it above the four colors of each set names and i really love how this looks i love the idea of it and and honestly this swatch will it kind of makes me want to buy more from bubble because i love the idea of this like just look how it looks it's so pretty and who would ever thought i will be going on and on about how pretty a swatch wheel looks like that is just how you know i really really like it so we have more stuff to unbox so let's just go ahead and jump right into the next few items that we have in here and so as you can see the next item that i'm going to be showing is this effortless nail extension kit first impressions on this packaging it has a clear view so that you know exactly what type of tips you're going to get and I love that you can see the nails from the top. Over on the back here, um, it does have some instructions and pictures and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and open this up. And I really love the aesthetic of this box. Like the packaging that these nails come in are just so cute. And you guys know how I love cute packaging. So this is how the nails look. So we do get a short almond. Um, I'm not sure if this is short or medium on the website, but to me, they are super short. And the reason these are called effortless extension nail tips is because when you go to apply them and do your nail set, you're going to have a very effortless application and a very easy, quick, simple design. And the faster you get done with your nails, the more you'll have to take pictures of them and just go out and do whatever you plan to do. You can go out with these. And from first impressions, I did notice how they have a very like ashy type frosted look to them and that's because these nails are pre-etched and pre-buffed which is going to make your prepping process go a whole lot faster you don't have to do much at all but as you can see i do have another shape here um underneath these layers you do get three different types of shapes in this box which i didn't know i actually wasn't even going to show this because I didn't realize until I was about to put them up, but I did kind of see like something at the bottom. And so I did take a look at it and you do get three different shapes here. I do believe these are all short or the second one that I showed is a medium. I'm not sure, but in this box, you do get an almond coffin and a squoval shape. And also before we move on to the next step, it's kind of going by a little bit fast, but for each box of these effortless nail tips extensions, you do have 15 layers, which is 30 pieces per Per layer and all together you do get 450 pieces and you do get five layers of each shape i really hope that makes sense um but you can go to the website and check it out if you do want to see more of the details about each of these products now moving on to this last and final item here that i have in my box these are some essential gels for your extension kit and these are like all of the um base products that you will need so this first one here is a purely base and it kind of caught me off guard that this was actually included because i feel like a pilly base is not really like an essential like a necessity for doing your nails but they do include this for people who like to change their design or their manicure quite often and i love peel off bases so i was really excited to try this one out so this next product here we have a base coat and also i did want to mention i do love the 3d element to like the front of the bottles i feel like that is just so cute it give it a really like expensive type look so yeah we do get a base coat it's for helping your polishes last longer you also get a builder gel and the builder gel is for when you want to add strength to your nails and make your nails look healthier and fuller we also get an extend gel and this acts as a seamless adhesive for your nail extensions which is for the nails that i previously just showed then lastly we do get a top coat which seals and protects your gel color and adds a bright shine to your manicure and before we get started into like the actual application of my nails, um, I did just want to quickly show like the consistency of them. Of course, they are all clear, but they do have different types of consistency of course for like the extend gel and the builder gel are a lot thicker than the base pilly base and top coat i feel like the base and the top coat were a little bit thinner than all of the other ones um but overall i do think these are very nice 
products and I cannot wait to try them out and that basically concludes the end of my unboxing we are almost at 20 minutes that was the longest unboxing I've ever done on my channel um, but if you want to check out these products I will have them linked down below I'm not sure if I have a discount code for you guys to use at checkout but if I do I will have it linked down below as well as the links for all of these products so getting into my nails, um, of course I did have to take off my other set which didn't take me long at all because I did apply a peel off base. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here in the cards if you want to check out. But before we get started into my nails off camera, I just quickly pushed back my cuticles. I didn't take my e-file and work around on my nail bed area just because I felt like they were good to go for this design. But before we get started into my application, I am taking that peely base from the Essential Gels Extension Kit and I'm just applying a layer over all of my nails. So when I first unboxed this, I did look at the back of it and for the back of the bottle, it did imply if you just want to change your design. So to me, that kind of gave me the impression if I just want to change like the color or design, I can apply it on top of my tips and just kind of make that gel polish peel up whenever I want to choose a different color. But it does says go to the website if you want a little bit more information and I did go to the website and it does says the pilly base gel is for when you plan to frequently change your manicure or remove your nail polish easy without hurting your natural nails being that natural nails is in that sentence i just figured that i can apply these underneath and it'll act as a regular peel off base so i just went ahead and applied that to my natural nails off camera i did add a top coat on top of it and i carried both of them for 30 seconds each in my kara sky led lamp and once i had that cured i'm just taking at first i had in mind that i was gonna do the oval shape just because when i looked at the package that was the only shape that i saw so i kind of had that in mind whenever i was thinking of like what design to do but after i did unbox it i felt like the coffin ones were a little bit longer and you all know how I feel about when nails are short like this. I just, it makes it a little bit harder for me to like figure out what I'm going to do or I just don't really end up liking them as much just because I do prefer longer nails and the shorter nails on me kind of makes my hand look so stubby and it's just a personal preference that I don't really like these. The only shape I would wear on my nails like this are the square just because since the square shape is a little bit wider, it kind of fits my hand a little bit more. But I went ahead and changed to the coffin shaped and I went ahead and picked out my sizes. When you are picking them out, you do want to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall. You don't want to have too big of a nail because it will overlap your skin, which is going to make room for water to get underneath whenever you wash your hands or you go to shower. Um, and if you do have a smaller size, you don't want to pick the smaller size either because you will have to force that nail down. And you don't want to have to force your nail down either because whenever you go to cure it, if it lifts up a little bit you will have air bubbles underneath and it's just not going to be the perfect fit for your nails so always make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall if you can't seem to find a nail that fits perfectly always go with the bigger size and just kind of make sure that you file the size to customize it to fit your nail perfectly so the video was kind of going a little bit fast but i also didn't want to rush i kind of want to just get that out while i was thinking about it um, but for the application, I did decide on the Extend Gel just because when I went on the website, the descriptions of each of the products, the Extend Gel, like I said, it acts as a seamless adhesive to your nail extensions. So I feel like that just kind of fits best as what I'm going to be doing with it. And so I'm going to be using the Extend Gel to apply all of my nails, just putting some at that nail bed area. And whenever I apply it to my nails, I do start at the cuticle to make sure that the pressure, once I add the pressure, it pushes all of that gel towards the tip of the nail, which makes a very seamless and very nice application. Also, I did attempt to use the little mini light that I got in the box, but I didn't really like it too much. Um, I don't really like how it's so restricted and I feel like it's more for like carrying one nail at a time if you do decide to do it that way. I feel like the little mini light doesn't really give you like the freedom to move 
and just use it how you would use it to get a nice application and i did end up switching it after i applied the pinky because i did have to replace my ring finger because when i went to apply it it was so crooked and i was just like i'm not gonna go through this after each nail so i did go ahead and change it i replaced that nail and i switched to my melody Susie two in one light it will be linked down below and once i got all of them applied i took the little hand file that came in the box and since these are already pre-shaped i didn't have to shape them at all but I did go over the free edge just to remove that little piece of plastic then once I finished it didn't take me long at all I did decide to take a sanding band in my e-file and just work around the cuticle area I didn't have much spilled product but I did just decide to do it because I always recommend this step it gives you a more nicer professional seamless look at the cuticle and especially if you want these to look like your natural nails this is always a good step to not skip and then you also can use a hand file but I like to use an e-file just because it's faster and more efficient for me but that's basically all we have to do and we have our nails applied and this is how they are looking since we did have a lot of dust from that e-file I just took a lint free wipe and some alcohol and just wiping over the tops of these nails also I think I forgot to mention but these are soft gel nails so the adhesion between the base the extend gel sorry the extend gel and the nail tips you do get a better adhesion just because both both of these products are gel products and once it cures into each other it just kind of melts like I'm not really sure how to explain it but it does give you a more lasting long nail set especially if you don't go in with this pilly base or any other pilly base but see so yeah, now let's get into the application so I didn't know I had to cut the camera off I never know what to do with these little short tips um so I was kind of going back and forth out of two ways i could do my nails but i also wanted to make sure that these were valentine's day themed just because i did have a lot of pinks and glitters and i didn't want to make it too complicated and since these nails are so short i always feel restricted because it's so hard for me to do different types of like gel designs and like ombres and glitters i can't really encapsulate anything do ombres so i always feel so restricted whenever i have these little short nail tips and that is why i don't really feel confident whenever i get these nail tips i know i could easily just say like no to reviewing these products but it's like i genuinely just want to review them and i can always use these products with other like nail tips and things but since these gel tips were like I guess they were the star of the show. I did just want to use them for like the first time I'm using them to see how these products work together. And so with that being said, yeah, I did feel very restricted. So I wanted to keep this design very simple. Um, so I just went in with a really soft pink. I do believe it was from the Daydream collection. I did apply that to three nails on camera, cured for 30 seconds. Then I also went in with the second layer off camera. Um, and now I'm going in with this shimmery pink. I knew for sure I wanted to use this because this color is just so pretty. I really love the shimmer in it and the shimmer, it kind of gives me like a purple shimmer vibe. So of course I had to use this. So I'm going in with this pink color and this is from the Pinkaboo um, collection of the solid cream gels. And I am going to be doing two coats. Of course, I cured for 30 seconds with the first layer and I'm doing the second layer also curing for 30 seconds. And as you notice, I haven't done my thumb. I haven't even applied my nail tip either. That's just because I'm going to be saving that entire process for an Instagram Reels. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram to see some of my content over there. But once I have all of my base applied, I'm taking the number one brush, which is the finer or skinnier type nail art brush. And I'm going to be taking that shimmery pink that I applied to my ring finger. And I'm going to be using it to draw on some fringes onto the light pink nails. Like I said, I wanted to keep this very simple and whenever I just knew I was going to be doing some short nails, I just automatically got the thought to do some French tips just because I feel like Frenches are so easy and since they also gave me some brushes to try out, I felt like this was a very nice design to test out most of the products that I could in one video just to see how they apply with each other and work with each other and I really did love this brush. I feel like it's very nice quality. But one thing I will say when you are doing nail art, with these solid gel polishes, it's a little bit harder to do, especially with the consistency being a little bit thicker. It doesn't really flow on the nail how a regular gel polish is. Um, 
but doing these fringes it wasn't too too complicated like as you can see it's going where i put it and it's not really like building up too much in one spot but i will say it is a little bit more challenging to get it smooth when you are doing nail art or if you're doing like line work it's kind of hard to get it as opaque as you want it to and that may cause build up just because the consistency is really weird to do nail art with this um and i wouldn't recommend doing nail art with solid gel polishes i would always recommend and gel paint or just regular gel polish and to be honest i would just stick with like a regular application using these solid cream gels and that's with any brand every time i did an unboxing or like a review with some solid cream gel polishes um i always recommend to like not really do nail art with them unless you can get it to look right that's all on you but in my experience and from what i see i would not recommend doing nail art just only like full coverage nails or applications or ombres like at the tip and speaking of ombres like i'm not even gonna try to do an ombre with these solid gel polishes just because i feel like they would be so hard to do because i already suck at gel ombres so i'm not even gonna try it um, but yeah, that's basically my thoughts and opinions on these gels. I really love how smooth they are. But once I do get my French tips on, I'm going to do some cleanup to make sure that it looks neat or the best that I can get it. Once I finish, I'm going to cure in the light for 30 seconds. And then I also went over my Frenches with the second layer, which I decided to do off camera since it was a little bit faster. Again, I cured and this is how they are looking and i had to turn off the camera once again just to figure out like what else i was gonna do and i did try something else off camera like i said just keeping it very simple i'm taking this white liner gel and this white gel polish did not come inside this bubble pr box this is actually a white gel polish from a cart i decided to do a outline around the french tip and then also add some hearts and some more like star dot details to the french tip and once I figured out what I was going to do, this part actually went by very fast. Um, This entire process was very fast, except for the part where I turned off the camera to just kind of brainstorm. The application, the design, it took no longer than 30 minutes. And also for my hearts, um, I have been having so many troubles with doing hearts. I always complain about how my hearts look. Um, But in the comments of one of my last heart videos, I think it was the video where I did the Kara Sky Marble Heart Design. Um, Some of you left in the comments that I should try using the dotting tool to create like the top of the hearts and just use a liner brush to connect it. And I did try for this design and let me tell you, whoever commented that even if I didn't see your comment, I noticed a lot of people were telling me to do it. But for the ones that did comment that, thank you so much because this is helping my heart look a whole lot better. For some reason, I thought it was going to be hard, but once I tried it, it was actually very easy. Um, I'm just putting like two hearts at the top, kind of close to each other, not really touching. I do feel like when they aren't touching, um, it gives me a better heart look. Once I placed down the dot, I took that brush from the um, nail art bottle and I just connected it into a V shape and just basically fill in the rest of it. And that's so simple. I will never go back to doing my hearts the way I used to because these look so much better. Like it actually gives me a more heart look to it and, and I love these so much better. So once I finished doing hearts, I did about two hearts on each nail just because I didn't have a lot of room. But to fill that in, when in doubt, just add some four pointed stars and some dots and I'm good to go. And that's basically what I'm going to do on all of the French tip nails. Just adding some four pointed stars and some dots just to kind of fill in those spaces. And I did cure after each nail. For my pinky, I did forget to outline my French. So once I finish adding my hearts and things, I'm going to go back in and add that outline. And I'm going to be done with those nails. I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then move on to the ring finger.
So for my ring finger, I did decide to do some little swirly lines and also add just a little bit more hearts just to kind of tie into this Valentine Day design. The main thing I wanted to do, like I keep saying, is the main thing I wanted to make sure this nail art was, was simple. And you can't get no simpler than lines and dots. For my lines, I did use that white liner gel. But for my hearts, I did want to tie more of that pink, that soft pink color I used for the base of my, um french nails i used that to do my hearts on this nail and it was a little bit harder so i did just kind of skip past that i was having so many mistakes because like i said it's kind of harder to do nail art using those solid cream gels so it was kind of difficult i did have to keep redoing it until i got somewhat of a decent heart and that's basically all i'm going to be doing i also did my thumb just like it and you will see that at the end but i'm not going to be including it in today's video because like I said, I'm doing it for a reel on Instagram. But once I cured on my design, I'm going to be taking the top coat from that gel extension um, kit. And I'm just going to be putting a layer of top coat over all of my nails. Once I finished adding my top coat, I cured for 30 seconds and then also I applied some cuticle oil and this is how the finish set turned out. And I love how these nails turned out, um, but of course, of course I'm going to have to say something about this shape and please don't get in the comments saying that I'm too hard on myself. I just simply don't like this length of nails. I think it looks very weird on me, but overall I do love the design. I feel like the design would look so much better on some longer nails. I really love how this shimmery color look as a base and also the tips of my French nails like that. I really love, I love this design. Um, if I could change anything, it would definitely be the length of these nails. I did really enjoy using these bubble products for my first time. I cannot wait to try them again. I will leave everything down below if you want to check it out. And that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of this design. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.